More than 4,500 people in Canada are currently waiting for an organ transplant, yet it takes around 4 to 15 months on average for most patients to receive this organ. This is mainly due to the fact that only about a fraction of Canadians are eligible donors. This then brings up the question as to why more people don't sign up to become a registered organ donor in the first place. While there are multiple reasons as to why individuals don't want to donate organs, such as distrust in medical professionals or fear of the after effects, surveys have concluded that one of the largest reasons people don't donate organs is because of the lack of the incentives in the first place. In the case of kidneys, in 2019, 4,419 Canadians were on a waiting list for a transplant. Of those, 77% were waiting for a kidney. In Chapter 5, we learn that when a quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied, the end result is a shortage. In the case of kidney transplants, we would say that the kidney market has excess demand. So how can we figure out a solution to combat this shortage of kidneys being donated? Well, as I stated earlier, one of the biggest disincentives for people to donate kidneys are a lack of incentives in the first place. For example, when an individual donates a kidney, the donor doesn't get paid to donate that organ. And on top of that, instead of being paid time off, the organ donor is left on organ donor leave, which is unpaid time. So many people therefore look at organ donating as very disincentivizing. In order to combat this, we have to add in some incentives. If the organ donor is on paid time off, the stress of losing money will be eliminated, prompting people to be more willing to donate. Another solution would be to include a tax deduction for donating an organ, as then people would feel as if they are being paid to donate this organ. In conclusion, the only way to combat the shortage of kidney donors in Canada is to create incentives for those kidney don donors Furthermore, allowing the supply and demand to level out, and as a result, the shortage will end.